Matt Johnson from Divine Millimet Legal Counsel to New Hampshire Realtors. This is the next video series for the Risk Management Subcommittee. The topic that we're going to talk about in this series is multiple offer situations, which is very prevalent in the New Hampshire market. First video we're going to talk about is from the buyer agent perspective. A couple things you need to keep in mind. First of all, you have to have a signed buyer agency agreement. That's the first step. I keep repeating that so you don't get in trouble with the Real Estate Commission. Second, you need to um, ask the listing agent if there are any other offers on the property. Remember, the listing agent does not have to tell you that unless you specifically ask for it. Third, and, and very important, is I think you need to have a detailed discussion with your buyer who may be entering into a multiple offer situation, some of the concepts and issues that they may be concerned about and have to deal with. There's issues over whether you want to use an escalation clause. You need to explain the risk and benefit of that. Do you want to have a large deposit or a small deposit? And what signal does that send? You need to talk about that with them. Sale contingency. Does your buyer need to sell their other homes? Do you want to make that part of an offer or run the risk that you have a problem? Those are all the types of issues you need to discuss. Uh, other issues, type of lender pre-qualification. Obviously, the stronger the lender and the stronger the pre-qualification, the better you are when you go into that situation. And, so, and then finally, home inspections. Take a look at that. Sometimes people consider whether they want to waive all or a portion of the inspections of the purchase and sale agreement to make their offer stronger. That you have to do very carefully because that's your last best chance to figure out what issues you might have with the property before you buy it. And if you don't do the inspections, you cut off that avenue uh, a resource for your buyer. So I would very much be careful about that with any buyer clients. Make sure to promptly deliver all offers as soon as you get them quickly and then keep in touch regularly with the listing agent to make sure the offer is getting presented timely and to get any feedback you can from the listing agent as to anything you may need to do to improve or modify or adjust your offer to put their, your buyer in the best position to try to prevail. And finally, you also, as a counselor to your buyer, you also need to keep in mind what the buyer's ultimate objectives are. In a multiple offer situation, the price can escalate dramatically quickly, and sometimes the best advice you can give to a buyer is maybe to sit back and maybe let that one pass and, and, and back out of the multiple offer situation to pr protect their ultimate long-term objective. Obviously, this is a big topic with lots to talk about, so one of the things we're going to do is solicit uh, questions from you in terms of what you're experiencing in the marketplace. Send that to Dave Cummings. He'll have a link on the video. We'll, we'll pull those questions, and then we will submit answers to the ones we think are most important and most impactful regionally uh, in the third of the video series that we're going to shoot. Thanks.